Hello everybody, we are going to see a tutorial uh, about how to create a virtual machine in the cloud so we can use Keras GPU accelerated mode by using AI developer. Um, the first thing we are going to do is to create a virtual machine but a virtual machine that has a GPU. As you can see, uh, we are in Azure Administration Console. Uh, you can use any any cloud provider that you that you prefer. We are using uh, Azure just for convenience for this tutorial. But uh, we need to create a virtual machine that has some GPUs in order to accelerate our calculations. As you can see, uh, we can click on add and create a virtual machine. There are many, many zones in Azure and in other cloud providers. So you need to uh, make sure that the zone, the region that you are creating the virtual machine in uh, has the possibility to create GPU accelerated virtual machines, okay? So, here we need to choose or create a resource group for our machine and our subscription. Then we can see the virtual machine name. We can set the virtual machine name, for example, test IA developer and select the region. We are going to select this, this region and for convenience we are going to do this with Windows 10 Pro. Okay. We uh, we need to change this machine. This is not the machine that we need. We do not need to virtual CPUs. We need GPUs. So we are going to change size. And what we are looking for, there are many many types of virtual machines here. But we are looking for the types that comes with an N here. So we are going to filter with the N letter. And here, as you can see, there are many machines with GPUs, but they are not possible. We are not possible to select this here because in this zone that we have selected, there are no virtual machines. So please take this into consideration when you select the zone. So we will correct this. We will not go to US West US 2. We are going to change the zone and select, for example, North Europe. Okay, and change size again. If we go there, you can select there are many 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 zones with virtual machines with gpus okay i will select this only for convenience and as you can see there are no currently available virtual machines with a gpu in this zone either this is quite strange because yesterday we, we, we had a lot of virtual machines with GPUs there but this is probably this oh this region is currently experiencing significant demand well, we are we are recording this tutorial in in the pandemic um, so uh, we will put this is probably one of the motivations because we know the reasons because of this. So we we're going to select, we are going to find some other zone to make sure we get the machines that we want. For example, let's try West US. West Europe, let's check this, 
must be a significant demand. Okay, in West Europe we have some available machines here. And for the testing, we are going to select um, this machine, NC6 Promo. 56 gigabytes of RAM, 6 CPUs, and probably one GPU, probably a K80, but we are going to make sure of that. Let's see, let's select this, and we are going to search, search for it. Yes, it is a NVIDIA K80, probably half of that. We, we, we will not be getting probably the full card, but uh, it is for our, for our tutorial, it is okay. We will select this NC6 machine and an username here and our password, for example. Um, this one and we will allow by now the RTP protocol so we can go into the machine uh, using remote desktop we, we can change this uh, later but uh, by now we will, we will going to do that Okay. And I will tell him that I already have a Windows 10 license. Okay. Because I have it. So we are going to create this machine online. No redundancy, no spot, username, RDP, and uh, West Europe, and a machine with. GPUs, this is very important. Okay, let's go. I don't know what, what kind of disks we are going to create here. Let's review the machine first. We don't really need a, a lot of uh, space here, but the standard SSD will be okay. Default encryption. Okay. You can, you can leave this by now you can you can leave this. We, you you should probably correct this configuration of uh, of the selected ports and firewall security afterwards in order to secure your machine. But for this tutorial, this is enough, I think. Validation failed. Okay, we need to create an storage account. We, we don't need diagnostics. Okay. So we are running final validation. Okay, validation passed. This is the cost that we will have for our calculations. So please take care of this. Um, we don't want a, a monthly invoice of uh, some thousand dollars or euros that we don't expect. Okay, we are going to create the machine. And that's it. It will probably take a while, not very much, but two, three minutes, something like that. And once the machine is created, we can download an RDP file and using that file we can use uh, we can connect with the remote desktop to our virtual machine in the cloud and afterwards we will be uh, able to configure our environment to use AI developer so Let's wait until this this finish, and uh, after that we will connect to our machine and continue the configuration of this GPU accelerated virtual machine in the cloud in the next tutorial. 
but by now this normally take, takes a while we can refresh if you are an impatient guy like me it normally does nothing but You are very happy because you are doing something, so we are going to click on refresh. If you click, we, we, we can go further. If you click on, on home again, let's leave this window open. And if you click on home, you can go to virtual machines and probably you will see the new machine that you have created here, test AI developer is creating this is the first machine I created was in West US and they they had some free GPUs machines and uh, I created another one in North Europe but now it seems that only in West Europe so you will probably have to change regions a little until you find a, a new virtual machine with GPUs that is available. Okay, this is created. Your deployment is underway. Let's wait here. There you have. Well, we can go while this is being created. We can go to the machine and see that there is a start here where we can turn on the machine and restart when we can restart the machine and stop when we can turn off the machine. This is very important. Please. Uh, be careful with this because if you don't stop the machine properly you will be invoiced at the end of the month and these machines with GPUs are not very uh, cheap you know they are they are mostly they are expensive we, we are testing with one GPU but if you are going to do a calculation with many GPUs uh, it will be a, a very bad invoice at the, at the end of the month if you don't stop the machine okay so please take care with this um, Let's see if we can, this is created or not. This is still creating the machine. Nevertheless, we can see here that there is a connect button and your public address. Your public address is there. If you click on connect and RDP, it will download the file. Public. IP address and the number, leave it like that, and download RDP. By using this RDP file, clicking on it, you will be able to connect to your machine in the cloud. Okay? Just not now because we still don't have the machine ready. Here you, here we are. Your deployment is complete. Okay, so we can go to the resource and turn it on. It is already turned on, so we only have to connect. Okay, as you can see, it is up and running, and this is your IP. You will not need to configure anything in the RDP file that you have just downloaded. Just only click on that. Okay, we will connect to the machine and see how we can configure our environment for AI developer in the next tutorial. Thank you very much, take care.
Hello and um, welcome back to the second tutorial uh, to see how to use AI developer with a GPU accelerated machine in the cloud. In the first tutorial we saw how to configure that virtual machine and uh, now that we have launched the virtual machine and we are into it, this desktop that you see is our virtual machine in the cloud. So now that we are into the machine, we are going to configure our, our environment to uh, be able to use it with uh, Keras Accelerated GPU and AI Developer. So let's please start. First thing we are going to do is to search for AI developer GitHub. So here we need to search this all together, AI developer GitHub. I'm going to make her make her big AI developer. Here we are at the GitHub of AI developer. By the way, thank you, Meg Hervig, for your great software. Um, let's see this. We are in the GitHub. So we will go here to the part where it says the prerequisites and installation instructions to run a developer from script. And we will get the Anaconda version, Anaconda 3.5.3.1.64 bits. So we are going to surf to this link and search for this version. That was Anaconda 3.5.3.1. On the 3531 353 Windows 64 bits. Okay, let's download this in our virtual machine in the cloud. After that, we will need to download the entire GitHub repository. So let's do that. Clone our download. Download zip. Perfect. Once it is downloaded already, so we are going to unzip this GitHub repository. And extract it. For example, in no lots. Okay, this is right here in the old lots. While this is being extracted, okay. We can go to the other file we were downloaded, that was Anaconda, and start installing it. Okay, agree for all users, for example. Okay, next. Here, we should not touch anything, click on register Anaconda, this is the correct option. In this case, okay. And we are going to download some other drivers that we need. For example, we need a 
we, we are going to check if this machine that we have created has an NVIDIA, really have a, a, an NVIDIA card. So we're going to the device manager here. And that's it, we have NVIDIA Tesla K80. But we need to restart the computer, okay? We will do it later. But it has detected our car. No, we are not going to restart now. But at least we uh, we are sure that we have an accelerated GPU to do the calculations. In the meantime, we are going to download the rest of the files that we need. We will be downloading, um, for example, correct CUDA version for the toolkit is. the 9.0 toolkit we'll go here and download CUDA toolkit this version not other because this is the version that we need By base installer okay save run we are going to install this too And we need to download this one. Let's search on Google because even if Virtual Studio is a Microsoft product, in Bing you don't find proper links. So no load build tools. Studio build tools here. Okay, we have already downloaded that. And let's see our folder. That's perfect. Let's see how it is. Anaconda, it is still installing it itself. We can in the in the meantime we can install CUDA 9.0. There are no dependencies here, so you can install it at the same time. And even we are going to install. No, it is okay. We we were going to install Visual Studio Build Tools at the same time, but it, I think it is too much for the for this machine. Maybe hard disk is full. Yeah, we will wait. We will wait a little until these two components are installed. Agree. Express installation. 
I understand. I was saying that the, it needs some CUDA components. It, uh, it is not a problem right now. So let's wait. In the meantime, we need to download another package here. And let's go to Google and for CUDA. This version is, is appropriate for our version. We, we need uh, we, we are using CUDA 9.0, so this is the appropriate version for us. So let's download this for Windows 10. Okay, you will need to register here and to use your account. Okay, and let's download the file. Here we have it already. So let's see how it is going in Anaconda installation and NVIDIA installation. Okay, this is still installing. In the meantime, we can extract this CUD and then we will extract this. For example, in See program files um, here new folder called CUDA. Can you use this? Okay, extract that. Perfect. And after that, we will need to add this path to our path in Windows. So environment variables here and okay click on install here. So we were configuring the environment variables you need to add two paths here. the root where you have installed CN CUDNN okay um sorry about that you need to add this vin as the library I am pretty sure that the library is in bin folder. Anyhow, we will make sure just after that. Okay, okay, and going into CUDA. Uh -huh. There is a mistake here. The library is here, so it was, this will probably happen to you. Um, the route for the path is this one with two CUDAs because of my fault. But um, then we go again to environment variables and let's correct this. Okay. This is not necessary to, to configure that on, on both sides in system variables and user variables, but it is a it's good to have it because it depends on how you install this component, so it is better to make sure. Okay, well, we have this installation completed, Anaconda installation completed. Install Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Uh, well, I, ca I can recommend that you install it. So you can see 
I go there and let's see NVIDIA installer is still installing we need to restart not now from now and after this Visual Studio Code we need to install the other components that we have downloaded here and we have yet to install Microsoft Visual Studio Build Tools. Let's wait for an account installation for Microsoft Visual Studio Code to finish. Okay, next. Finish and we will install Visual Studio Tools here. Okay, here it is very important that you select this C++ build tools. If you don't select that, it, it won't work. Okay. This is these are not, not necessarily probably Windows 10 SDKs. We will select everything just in case you will use further developments using Visual Studio. Um, you can select everything and wait for it to download and for Install. In the meantime, we can we can configure Anaconda environment. So let's go here and search for Anaconda prompt. And uh, let's go to in the folder we in, where we have downloaded our AI developer and here you can see you have a environment ready uh, to be created. Okay, we, we, we will do this installation as is. So we can see if, if you find some problems, we can see how you can correct it. We will follow the tutorial and see if we find some problems. And if we find them, we will solve it. Okay, next step here is to Open Anaconda prompt and navigate to the folder where you put AI developer here and create the environment. Okay, let's do that. I seem to have some problems with the keyboard, so I will write it on the um, create. Okay. Let's see if we find some problem here. In the meantime, we are installing Visual Studio. We don't forget about that. So it is installing the packages that we need to run an AI developer and to create environment.
probably we could have chosen a, a better a premium SD disk hmm? maybe if you uh, we will not be doing a lot of disk things uh, for AA developer probably we will need more GPU but if you have the money you can have a better machine than mine okay It will not probably make a difference uh, after the installation when in the in the normal life uh, for AI developer. But in the installation, we especially if we are installing two two things at a time, and maybe this is a mistake to install those two two things at a time. But okay, let's wait until this finish. Okay, here you can see what I was expecting that uh, we have this problem. As you can see, we, we are following tutorial, but uh, we, we might find some problems. So uh, the thing is that we have a dependence here that we don't find, the installer doesn't find. So let's go uh, to the requirements file and edit it. Because this version does not exist anymore this is a very common problem so um, PI installer let's go to the master um, sorry about that this is the file that you need to edit to edit as you can see, this is a file where the dependencies are configured, and I have just deleted this. Okay. Sorry about that, but again, this can be seen that uh, it can happen to anyone, so we are following a procedure. And let's reset this anaconda and start again let's delete the environment Okay, and let's create the environment again. And this time we have already edited the file, the correct file, so it will hopefully install correctly. I mean, this tutorial is. is quite long but it is good that we see everything that can fail because this is everything that I have passed in the in the last hours prior to do this tutorial so it is okay that we can remember it and uh, we will hopefully not forget it in the future so let's see I am sure it will install correctly right now and after that we only be needing to install the TensorFlow GPU module okay it, it installed correctly there are some broken dependencies here um, it is a more recent version, okay. A 
Okay. Saito and Nampai and set up those. Okay, this one is okay. Okay, that's finished. So uh, we are going to activate the environment. And we will find here you find that we we are into the environment and we will try to execute AI developer and we will find some problems probably. So if we go into this folder and say Python AI developer we will see that it tries to load but there is some problem here. Okay. So OpenCV is not installed probably and we will try to solve these problems. The first is that we, we are not detecting the CPU and the second the GPU sorry. Uh, the CPU is being detected currently but the GPU is not being detected. And the second one is that we have some kind of problem with OpenCV uh, module. So we are, we are going to to solve this. In the first one by installing with pip TensorFlow but the GPU version. And as we are using G, uh, TensorFlow version 1 we need to install same version here. So we will force to install this version of TensorFlow GPU And that we we will not be having any problem with this. And it will hopefully detect the GPU afterwards. Okay. Successfully installed, and we need to test Python. AI developer to see if it detects the GPU. Okay, we have some kind of other other problem here. Fail to load the native TensorFlow routine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we have the error. We have an error related to TensorFlow DLL. By. Okay, let's install the rest of the modules as we need. And we need to review the computer in order to for to CUDA drivers to be correctly installed. So first of that we will need to install OpenCV OpenCV Python Okay, and another error that we will have in the future would be that we don't have PSUtils installed, so we will install it
Okay, that's it. PS util singular. Okay. And uh, Keras metrics. Probably we will be needing it because in the last installation that I did, there was some broken dependency with this, so we will install Keras utils too. Keras metrics, sorry. Okay. So we will be testing Python AI developer again, and we have the same problem that we need to reboot the machine. So drivers are being, are being detected, and this card is being detected. Okay, probably configure. Let's reboot, and we will come back. And okay, here we are with the computer just reboot. And uh, as we can remember, we had a problem with uh, AI developer. If we go here and um, activate the environment, activate my env, and we go to the folder that where we have the software, and we try to run it, we obtain an error, okay? And this is probably related to some um, packages that are not the ones that should be installed. As you remember, we installed a TensorFlow GPU with a very specific version. Uh, let's see uh, if we can see the version that we installed. Pip, let's show, okay, pip show tensorflow gpu as you can see we have we installed this version 1.1.0 and if you see tensorflow not gpu tensorflow the normal version with cpu and we can see that the version that we have here installed is 1.10 not 1.1 .1. So this is the problem. This is a, a, a mismatch. That uh, it is a common error that we can uh, that we can do. Uh, it is not on purpose, of course. <laughs> I just failed with this. And uh, the thing is that the current version that we should be installing of TensorFlow GPU is 1.10, not 1.1. So this is good for uh, for us to see how we can di diagnose uh, if we can if we have the proper version of the software. So we will correct this, and uh, maybe we should uninstall uninstall TensorFlow GPU and install it again, the correct version, and it will probably work. Maybe maybe it fails with some dependencies that we still have not corrected but let's try to install tensorflow gpu but this time we will set this version to 1.10.0 is this is the correct version okay this this will probably fail this installation because of one thing let, let, let's do this this is a common error too okay it sits Invalid requir requirement. Why? Because we we didn't use two two symbols for the version to equal symbol. This is a common error too, so it is good to know. Let's install TensorFlow the correct version that is equivalent to the TensorFlow CPU. So you have both versions in the same number, and it will disappear the error in AI developer. The thing is that uh, we will probably find some other errors, but we will fight through them and we will finally be able to to install this and to execute properly this. So let's wait until TensorFlow GPU is correctly installed. And after that, Maybe we, we need to correct some, some other things. We already installed OpenCV Python, so this error should not appear again. We already installed psutils, so this error will probably not appear again. We already installed uh, Keras metrics, so this error will not probably appear. 
and the thing is that uh, we will see what what will be the next error that we find if we find some some error maybe it loads and everything happy but let's let's wait until this finish successfully installed okay and let's try to execute python ai developer okay a new error here we have corrected the last error so the, probably the, the version was a problem uh, and we now have a new new error we could not find this dll this is probably a path related problem okay so if we try to find this dll uh, we, we, we can go to uh, windows program files and search for this dll and see if we can diagnose this oh here it is we have a we have found this so it is in nvidia cuda bin folder so we only need probably to set this in environment variable we only need to set this path so anaconda is able to find this dll okay and here okay so let's see if we can if we find some problems that it will load already we have already set it in path but we will probably have to reboot anaconda prompt in order to get the path correctly but we will try it okay it is the same problem that's because we haven't reboot anaconda and the path is not corrected yet so we will reboot this is a very common problem too so please take care with that you need to reboot anaconda after a path change um, this is good for us to find this these problems in the in the tutorial because you will probably not be able to do this tutorial step by step you will find some problems and if you see the solutions you will probably uh, find a new solution for a new problem that you don't find in the tutorial so let's see um, we will activate conductivate my environment and go to the directory download download sorry ai developer ai developer and try to run this python ai developer and we will probably not have any more problems because now we have reboot anaconda prompt and now the path should be corrected so let's try this and okay looks good okay that's it that's it we finally have managed to run ai developer as you can see here when you execute ai developer um you have two devices the cpu and the gpu the gpu is a tesla k80 so it is perfect it has detected it and we can use that for using it we can do a quick example i have already uploaded here with copy paste but you can upload some images here and i have a a training set for two categories and the validation set for other two categories so let me please do a quick example um, convert to rgb please and uh, we can do a quick example so you can see that uh, ai developer is using the full gpu power and in addition we can see that uh, the gpu video ram maybe it is a, it is a problem for us because we are we are used to if we are used to model and train in in the cpu we will probably have much more ram and uh, we will not have any problems regarding the um, finding the ram limits but if we are using a gpu uh, maybe we are much more constrained in in ram uh, and gpu ram is much smaller normally so we will probably find some problems there in fact we can see the quantity of ram that this card has tesla k80 we can find the ram here and it is 
here device CPU with 11 gigabytes of memory. So any model that or if we are using a big images or we are using a big model uh, or a complicated model, uh, maybe uh, we need to modify batch size uh, in order to to be able to load a model like that. So it is converting images. Okay, we have it here. And let's say that we have this is class zero, this is class zero, this is class one, and this one. Training set, validation set, validation set, and training set. Okay, let's not shuffle the images because we have a very small images set. It is balanced as we can see here. So well, let's try a complicated model like maybe in set v VGG19. And with full images, um, maybe like that, we will choose a, a model folder here in desktop models here, VGG19, uh, no rotation, for example. And we will set this to no rotation, horizontal flip, and vertical flip, and no more augmentation. Only a little hue, maybe. Okay, everything looks looks good, but uh, we need to define this this batch size because if, if we try try to train this in this batch size, maybe we have some problems. So we need to calculate if we can find a limit because of our 11 gigabytes of RAM. Um, we, are, we are using a very few images here, but we, we can maybe estimate. Let's initialize the model. And uh, here it is, 43 megabytes of RAM that are multiplied by this 40, 43. Yes, we have enough RAM here. So it will work, but what if we try to do uh, a batch size bigger or a bigger model? Maybe you can. You need to adjust batch size to fit into the 11 gigabytes of memory. Uh, now we have a very small model, uh, uh, not a very small model, but a very very small data set. So we will have no problems fitting this in RAM. Uh, let's try to fit the whole model. Yes, just, just for testing purposes. Um, but size will be 364. Okay. And let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's put verbose, activate verbose. Okay. So we can see here, start fitting. And we can see here. What is what AI developer is doing, and how it is using GPU? Okay, here you can see that you are using GPU and allocating memory, and this is the epoch loading. Here we have. Let's only wait until it starts training. So here you have an, an error. What is what is this error? It is as you can see we have an error that it is an out of memory when allocating tensor because we have many images in a big size and a very complicated model and we have set a very big batch size or a big batch size. So we have overloaded the uh, 11 gigabytes of RAM of the card. So this is very important that you have some kind of caution with this. Okay, so let's start again and define this a little lower. Maybe with 128 batch size, we can model this. Probably you will not find these limitations with CPUs as you have normally more gigabytes of RAM in a CPU, but in a GPU like this, you only have 11 gigabytes only, only. It is a lot, but you need to take care with this. So if you need more RAM, 
uh, maybe you need to hire a, a, a very big machine uh, that we will cost you a little more in, in the cloud. But this machine only has one card, probably a shared card with 11 gigabytes of RAM. So we will adapt to that. This has been reviews and we can try again. Let's see. Okay, start fitting. Let's see if 128 in batch size, it is a good value or not. As you can see, it is starting training and this is the first epoch. So we can see probably this training in a oh, run out of memory train to allocate this. This is not a failure yet, but it, will, it is probably a good idea to reduce the amount here you have. Here you have the error. So same problem, same problem. As you can see, it is a lot of memory because we are using a very a lot of images with a big size and a big batch size in a very big, uh, in a very small RAM quantity or, or a small RAM quantity, video RAM quantity. Um, so uh, as you can see, uh, Windows is not using uh, any of the CPU uh, memory here. If we use TensorFlow for CPU, we will be able to fit this model probably without any problem. But the thing is that it will be much slower. So we are using video RAM and video card in the GPU. So we need to reduce this. Uh, let's try 64 because it's a calculator. And we need to, okay, let's see. Let's 64 here. Let's use a 64 batch size, initialize, and let's see if it fits or not. Because if we, we are calculating the, the quantity of RAM, maybe uh, AI developer helps us to see if the model will fit in the video card. Uh, because we it gives us a, a value of the of the model here. When you initialize the model, you, you get a message stating the quantity of, of RAM that we that you will be using. So let's see. Okay, 43 megabytes of RAM. 43, 44 megabytes. 44 for a batch size or 64. Okay. It should fit. It should fit. So let's start fitting. Maybe we find some problems, right? Or maybe, maybe not. What, what, what do you think about it? Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Now this it seems to be training. It is using GPU with 11 gigabytes of memory, and let's see if it trains with a batch size of 64 we are using now. It will probably feed the video RAM. Uh -huh. Trying to allocate this, trying to allocate this. It will probably fail again. So we need to reduce that. Or not. Here, here we have. Okay, this, this is probably a good idea to reduce this a little more, but we, 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 can, we can still go with this configuration and see what happens. As you can see, it is a very, very quick calculation this will last maybe I don't know maybe 40 40 times more in my CPU and uh, with this card that is not a very 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 powerful card but it is a, a cheap one in the cloud we we get CUDA and we we can use the accelerator to do these calculations so 
it is working it is normal that the first time it is a little more slow a little slower but here we have the results and it will start training as you can see we have an accuracy and validation accuracy here and it is training 14 seconds per epoch it's okay so you can leave this computer in the cloud working while you work on other things so you can instantiate as many machines as you can pay in the cloud with different models and then you can use uh, AI developer within Windows or Linux or something uh, in the cloud just uh, with two clicks so uh, I hope you like this tutorial um, I know we have found some problems, but uh, it, is, it is good to see those problems in real time and to fix those problems in real time. So I hope you like this tutorial. Let's leave this training and let's see what happens with this model. Okay, thank you very much. Take care.